Hello, and welcome to Nextstar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Chapter 1, Creating and Listing Visual Force Pages. What is Visual Force? Visual Force is a framework that allows developers to build sophisticated, custom user interfaces that can be hosted natively on the Force.com platform. The first step in the first chapter of the Visual Force workbook is enabling your Visual Force development mode in your development environment. To get started, go ahead and log in Salesforce using your developer account. Once logged in, go ahead and click on your username and select My Settings. From your settings page, under edit my personal information, select personal information. Then over on the left, you want to click on advanced user details. At the top of the screen, you'll see an edit button. Go ahead and click on that. And then you'll want to click on the development mode checkbox, and then click save. With development mode enabled, we're now free to create our own custom Visual Force pages. To create a custom page, enter the following in the URL bar of your browser. After the name of your Salesforce instance, enter Apex, and then the desired name of your new page. I'm going to call my page Hello. Since this page doesn't yet exist, we'll see an error. On the error page, however, we will get an option to create a new page. Click the Create link, and that's it. We've just created a new Visual Force page. Now that we've got our new page, we can customize the content to be whatever we want. Down at the bottom of the page, you'll see a new toolbar. Click on the name of your new page to bring up the Page Editor. Page Editor will show the raw content of the Visual Force page. Visual Force pages are generally made up of two kinds of elements, Visual Force components and standard HTML elements. To start, I'm going to change the content to say, Hello World. Once I click Save, page will automatically be refreshed to show me my changes. That's the basics to making Visual Force page changes. I'd just like to point out that the page editor is not available once you've deployed a page to production or disabled development mode in your environment. Now that we've seen how to create a new page, I'm going to show you how to find pages after they've been created. First click on Setup at the top of the page. Under the Develop menu, and click Manage Pages. Now you'll see a list of all the Visual Force pages you've created within your environment. In addition to acting as an index of all your Visual Force pages, this control panel also provides you with an alternative way to create pages. Click the New button, select the label for your new page, and click Save. Now we've just created another new Visual Force page. We can go ahead and click Preview to see what it looks like. All right, that about wraps it up for this video. We have our Visual Force editor set up and we're familiar with the basics of Visual Force development. Now, in our next video, we'll cover chapter two, adding attributes and using auto-suggest. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+.